What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we're back with the Tour de la Provence. We have an absolutely stacked start list for this year's race. I cannot wait for it myself. But first, if you're new around here, remember to hit subscribe and like the video today. Really helps the channel out and of course, plenty more PCM content coming in the next few weeks. Shout out to Barna as well for doing this race and also Wautio one for doing the start list. So looking at the race, the Koenig bringing a super strong team highlighted by Julian Alaphilippe, but Astana have both Vlasov and Lutsenko, the Izagiri brothers as well. Really strong team for them. We have Wellens and Gilbert for Lotto. Egan Bernal makes his first start since the Tour de France when he withdrew from the race last year. Also Lawrence de Plus makes his Ineos debut. We have Bahrain with a very strong team. Jack Haig makes his debut for them. Christoph Trentin, Alessandro Covey here for UAE. Group Armour FDJ are led by Damar and Rudy Millard. We have Emric Mass here, Molomer, Ciccone, Moschetti for Trek, Groschartner and Conrad as well for Bora. Just a super strong start list this time around. Galapan is here. If we take a look further, Bargui, Buani, Hazel Serrada is here too. Cocard, um, Fabio Aru makes his season debut at Quebec at Assos. Interesting to see if he can get back to his best form. But we will be going for Bahrain victorious. We have Dylan Toons, Wouter Pools and Jack Haig. A really strong kind of three-pronged attack in the GC right there. Heinrich Hausler is here too, the legend. Gino Marder, another pretty strong climber. Phil Bauhaus, if we have any sprints. And then Fred Wright, who's a really talented young rider, in my opinion. I genuinely believe we could have a pretty big day in the GC early on here in France because plenty of early climbing. This could be pretty explosive. I'm going to try and get Heinrich Hausler in the early breakaway. Let's see what he can do from there. An early attack by Heinrich. By the way, how nice is this Bahrain Victorious jersey? For me, it's definitely one of the best in the World Tour this season. So I really doubt Heinrich Hausler will get many mountain points at this year's race, but we may as well try and take them as we're here. It is a first cat climb, so there are quite a few points available for the riders. But on Filippo Concha's wheel, Hausler coming off at the last, and Heinrich Hausler takes all of the points in the provisional lead, would you believe it, of the KOM classification. By the way, we do have four minutes currently on the Peloton. You can see the full force of the breakaway right here. So we will now try and take this sprint as well with Heinrich, a pretty decent sprinter, and he is sweeping everything up right now in the breakaway. Again then, we're going to try and take this KOM with Hausler, and you know what, we're in a pretty good position right now because that was the biggest climb in terms of points today. 500 meters left. Let's see if we can take these as well. Heinrich tries to hold on to the line. Fernandez, Concha, all coming. Rosetto as well. But Hausler just beaten by Fernandez. It's a two-way battle right now. So the guys in the breakaway won't be taking this stage as we come to the next KOM. Abner Gonzalez, the new rider for Movistar, trying to attack off the front. Let's try and come off his wheel with Hausler. Terrible stuff right there by myself. And Bistrom has the jump on the rest of these guys. It's so difficult for Hausler. Obviously, doesn't really have the punch of some of these climbers and still 800 meters to go to the top of this climb. Let's try and get the wheel of Fernandez. Can we try and compete for that KOM jersey and Hausler in the end? His attributes do get the better of him and Fernandez does seem to have that jersey now. At this point then, I am trying to think we can get Bauhaus to the end in the front group. Let's see if we can do that with Fred Wright's protection. 14k to go then, we're just trying to catch the remnants of the breakaway. Five riders are left and it will be a sprint today. Still 125 riders, including Bauhaus in the group. We do have some pretty strong wins here, so we do need to be a little careful, but we do Pretty much now have 5k to go. The breakaway is still up the roads, but we have tunes here to help out Bauhaus to the end as Fred Wright has had a great day on a minus two day, to be fair to him. He can now sit up though. Tunes up to 94, maybe a little early. Let's go 90. Bauhaus in his wheel. The breakaway looked pretty dumb, but Bistrom, one of the stronger flat rides there, looking okay, but now it does seem that they will be caught into the final 2k. Dylan Toons leading out Bauhaus. We have Lipens, Bargill, Ballerini here as well. Maybe gone a little early with Toons. Let's go right now for the line with Phil Bauhaus. Follow Ballerini. Try and come off his wheel. But sadly, it will be a win for Davide Ballerini. Bauhaus with a strong second place to kick off the race. Damar will be very disappointed with only third place. 
One for the punches today, finishing in Manosk, I believe you say, but we have plenty of options. Dylan Toons, probably the best though with Haig, Pools, all pretty good punches as well. Small breakaway up the roads in this one. Then we have champion for Kofidis among Fernandez, Bonamor, Kuzan, and Filippo Concha. By the way, I didn't show it, but Fernandez did indeed take the KOM jersey. You can see Hausler just wasn't quite strong enough in the end. Ooh, we have just had a big fall in the Peloton. Emmerich Mass, Casper Asgreen, Jesus, Harada are among the riders. I know Demar was dropped already. We have Jeffrey Bouchard stepping out of the race, sadly. Uh, Parapentra is here too, so some very strong guys, but especially Emmerich Mass caught behind and his teammates are going to sit up for him. And it's going to be difficult to get back on because look at Bora, FDJ and Arke Samsic hammering it on the front. And Hausler has been pushing it up this climb and it has become very selective. You can see we have plenty of riders out the back still. Emmerich Mass and Hazel Serrada are caught behind Asgreen as well. And we're seeing quite a few guys drop too. And these guys are still not back in. I think Harada is going to do the work himself right now. Emmerich Mass still clinging on there. Just about going to get back in right there. There you go. It was quite the chase for them though. I have come to the front though to try and really push the tempo. Fred Wright is here. Fabro, Cavagna all trying to really push the rhythm. Let's try and move up with our guys to stay with Fred Wright. 8k to go then. Fred Wright pulling on the front. Rudy Millard trying an attack off the front actually. Interesting move by the Frenchman and we just have such a strong team for today's stage. Let's get in the wheel of Fred Wright actually. Pools is just going to sit in. I think we're seeing more moves at Senko uh, making sure he's staying with Rudy Millard who is now caught. Let's use those jails right here, 5k to go. Let's try and just ride these guys off our wheels. Fred Wright really upping the rhythm. Gino Marda is going to be a domestique today. I think Pools can maybe get in the wheel of someone if he can. Can't seem to do that. But now 2k to go. Gino Marda up to 90. Ala Philippe is here, of course. Probably the favourites for the stage. But here we go. Up to 95. 99 with Marza. He can probably sprint at 1k. Haig at maybe 800 meters. Let's try and go with Jack Haig. And now we're going to sprint for the line. Toons, Alaphilippe, Izaguirre. It's going to be Julian Alaphilippe just beating Izaguirre. Haig was third in the end. Groschartner, Ballerini were there as well. But Alaphilippe, too strong today. Two stages down, two wins for quick step. Let's try and change that on Mob one two. Away we go then for the penultimate stage and the queen stage of the race this season. We'll try and get Hausler just up the road because why not? Um, but Haig, Pools, Toons all look on pretty similar form. I mean, Toons is probably the weaker of the three on longer climbs, but he does have a plus day, so... No idea who our leader is right now. So we now have 12 minutes up to the Settles breakaway. Jerome Kuzan is here again. Rosetto, no surprise there. Mikhail Cher, T-Mobile legend. Nico Roach here too. So pretty strong group, uh, but no one really threatening in the GC. So a few early moves for the KOM. And we've missed the jump really, trying to follow Stefani Rosetto. Let's try and attack him right now into the finish with Hausler. But Fernandez, I think, is going to be too strong. And he looks in command now of the KOM jersey, 52 points. So Heinrich has been dropped back to the main group. He's now protecting Toons. So we have Haig, Pools and Toons all being protected. And it's been a pretty quick tempo so far, but still a long way to go until Mont Ventoux. 18K to go then. And the tempo being set by Kasper Asgreen, Gianni Moscon, Ida Schelling. Really strong guides on the front. Lawrence Plus as well, who I think could do well here um, in real life at Provence. We'll see how that turns out. But it's so, so quick right now. We cannot even get to the front of the peloton. Let's try and move up a little ahead of Mont Ventoux. We do have this intermediate sprint, but doesn't seem it's really going to be contested right there. Here we go then. It will be Haratiada leading the riders onto the foot now of Mont Ventoux, the massive infamous climb of course in the world of cycling. We're seeing attacks very early on as well. Balka Molma and Warren Barguil are the guys to attack if I can even say his name. But Gino Marda doing some protections right here as well. Let's try and keep all three of our main leaders to the front if we can as Pools is dropping just a little bit. We're down to 46 riders already and it won't be a nice comeback to cycling for Fabio Abreu. He's gone already let's try and just move up again as Balka Molma this time is on the move again let's just try keep a fairly steady rhythm we have 8k to go still uh the guys like Harada, Bargil, Izagiri all trying to follow Balka Molma but it is a massive 
move by the Dutchman. Those four guys are now clear as Alaphilippe is now probably in the provisional leads if um, he can stay to the front of the race. So the likes of Andreas Letnesens and Harold Tiada are now out the back. So is Ardia, Conti, Galapan, Tim Wellen starting to struggle. So is Alexei Lutsenko as well. Pools is riding up very. Let's make sure we get to his wheel with our guys. There we go. He can relay on the front whilst Haig and Toons just sit in at maybe 83 maintain. Sitting on the wheel of Wouter Pools who is doing a great job for the team today and we are just about closing the gap now 15 at the front so we enter the final 5k and Gorka Izagiri has just put in an absolutely massive move I'm trying to get pulls to the front to protect Jack Haig he cannot seemingly move up for some reason come on get to the front we to pulls here we go we can put Haig on the wheel of Dylan Toons as well Haig is now our leader on the day we have four K to go. I'm trying to push it a little bit with pools first before trying anything with Jack Haig. But Gil is now done. Comrade Harada Vlasov all to the back of the group. And Gorka Izgiri did he go a little early right there. And we are struggling even to have any energy for any moves right now as Harada is starting to go off the back. We have just 2k to go. But Gorka Izgiri currently is winning this stage. We can't really react to that. Alaphilippe Molomer and Vlasov are now on the move. Here we go. I think Haig has to be our leader at this stage of the race. Um, as Izagiri almost caught now by Julian Alaphilippe. Molomer is struggling as well. Toons can get on the wheel of Comrades. But now it's here. Emmerich Mass is out the back. So is Hazel Sarada. So we have 1.5k to go. Alaphilippe looking good to be fair. Izagiri and Molomer does close the gap. So we have eight riders now at the front. Bernal is one of them. Vlasov is here. Comrades. Haig not doing any work into the final 900 metres to Chalet Reynard. This is so close. Haig, though, trying to up it a little, following the wheel of Julian Alaphilippe into the finish. Can we stay with the Frenchman? No, we cannot. Alaphilippe too strong. He wins his second stage in a row here at the Tour de la Provence. Izaguirre second, Molma third. Haig will be fourth, ahead of the likes of Vlasov and Bernal. We hope for more, I can't lie. So it was seven riders in the end competing for the stage. I'm really surprised Izagiri was so strong. Stronger than Vlasov, Jon Izagiri, Lutsenko as well. What a ride that was by Gorka Izagiri. But Jack Haig in fourth in the GC and unlikely to change now with a sprint stage up next. And so far we've had a win for Quick Step on every single stage. Unreal. I'm thinking about joining the break, but I think we won't because we do have some wins. Not too strong right now. If it picks up, we definitely want to hammer things and try and force some gaps. 80k to go there. Not sure if we can try anything. No real wins right now. And are these the uh, are these climbs big enough to really try anything on? Um, there's only one way to find out. Let's put our guys right to the front and hammer it right now. Yeah, the answer is definitely not. We've literally dropped no one. Pretty much this is going to be a mass sprint, I believe. So again, we have another climb. This time, I am going to put our guys up to 95 over the top of this climb. Let's stay right to the front here, following Gino Marda and Fred right on the front. And into this descent, let's pump it up to 99. Can we force... Any gaps right here, it's our last real hope. Okay, here we go, here we go. 23 riders are at the front. We do have a small split. I'm just going to put all my guys briefly. 99 relay on the front. Haig, Toons and Pools are the only riders who need to sit up. Uh, maybe Bauhaus can work as well. That should be fine. 30 seconds. Can we do anything to hold this to the line? I doubt it, to be honest. Well, guys, you can't say I didn't try. We've really tried to force some gaps here, but it's all back together. And we will be settling for fourth place, I believe, in the GC. So 6k to go. And our final chance to win a stage at this year's race. Haig is on the wheel, I think, of Clement Venturini. Someone like that anyway. He should be fine there. Let's follow Alaphilippe instead, actually. But Pools can go to 99. Bauhaus doesn't have too much energy after his efforts in creating some gaps in the GC. We have three gates co. Does he have enough? I'm not even sure if he has enough to try and challenge for this sprint, disappointingly. Anyhow, 2k to go here. Trenton leading out a few guys. And no, Bauhaus isn't going to be strong enough, I'm afraid, to challenge for this stage today. Dylan Toons is our man. I don't think it's going to be a win for him. No, it's not. Arnold Damar is going to break quick steps run of winning um, all the stages so far. Shame for Bauhaus. We give himself up trying to work for Haig to no avail. 
I can't lie, I really enjoyed this one, guys. The start list for this year's race, the Tour de la Provence, is absolutely stacked. I cannot wait to watch the real life as well. Didn't quite do as well as I'd hoped. Fourth place in the GC, we needed that plus four day on Mont Ventoux. Not to be, though, you can see the other comps as well right here. Of course, Hausler giving the KOM jersey a little go. Remember to smash that like button if you enjoyed today. Drop a sub on the channel if you're new. We're working our way to 2,500 subscribers, and I will see you in the next one.